In this video, uh, we will discuss regarding the conversion of core back plate of mold base into the core back plate of the mold and the conversion of back plate of the mold base to the back plate of the mold. So first we will discuss the conversion of core back plate to core back plate of the mold. Now you are seeing that this, this is the core back plate of the mold base, core back plate of the mold base. And here there is nothing, no holes except the holes in the corner which you have already seen uh, before in the assembly of uh, the moving half, assembly of, of the moving half. So I will not discuss it again and uh, I will discuss only how this uh, uh, is converted into the uh, 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 core back plate of the mold. Now uh, you can see that here nothing, no holes. So I will now remove it. Now you are seeing that there are seven holes, seven holes which have been machined and they are through holes. They are through holes. Six holes are for ejector pins. That is in each core insert, each core insert there are three ejector pin holes. So there are total six, six uh, holes are there. And one hole is in the center. One hole is in the center. So now I will show you uh, the six holes. These are one, two, three, four, five, six. They are the holes for the ejector pin. Ejector pin will come through this. Ejector pin comes through this. Now you can see that this is the ejector pin. It will come through this. It will go through the core plate and it will go to the core insert and it will become flush with the uh, uh, core insert. That you will see when the assembly is done. So there are six holes for the ejector pins. The, in the center there is a hole which is for the screw puller pin, screw puller pin. Now this is the screw puller pin, it is similar to the, similar to the ejector pin except that at the top there is a profile, there is a undercut, there is a undercut. So when the material is filled, the material fills into the bridge piece and in uh, the material fills into this undercut. And when the mold opens, this undercut feature pulls the, pulls the sprue from the sprue bush. So uh, there are seven holes which you have seen, they are machined in the in the core back plate of the mold base to convert it to the core back plate of the mold. Besides this, no other machining is done. So this is how this is how this is converted to the uh, core back plate of the mold.
now we will discuss the conversion of back plate of the mold base to the back plate of the mold now you are seeing that this is the back plate of the back plate of the mold base mold base and there are four holes at the corner through holes and then there are four holes these are the holes counterboard holes through which the socket head cap screw comes and it assembles the whole moving half these are the ejector guide pillar they are they come fitted with the back plate so i have not removed it so it is not recommended to remove it so in the center uh, there is nothing here there is nothing here there is nothing so i will uh, remove it now you are seeing the the back plate of the mold so you can see that this hole this big hole is machined in the center this big hole is machined into the center which was not there in the back plate of the mold base through this hole the ejector rod comes and hits on the ejector plate back of the ejector plate and the ejector assembly moves forward when the ejector assembly moves forward it ejects the molding it ejects the molding so uh, this is the uh, purpose of this hole that the ejector rod comes through this and actuates the ejector assembly when the assembly is done assembly of moving half is done you will see further and understand clearly how how it works besides this hole nothing is done no other machining is done in this back plate only one hole is machined and it gets converted into the back plate of the home thank you <coughs>